Well, let's see. I first moved out here in 94. Brad, where's Mrs. Borgen, Brad? I'm going to be so late to tea. Whoa, you golf. No, 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 no. You gotta carry the one. I don't necessarily adhere to traditional math. Good afternoon, everyone. Looks like quite a motley crew we've got here. motley crew. My name is Jet Thomason. Feel free to call me Jet. Well, hi there, Jeff. Uh, no, sir, it's a uh, jet, like an airplane. Ooh, I like airplanes too, Jeff. Whoa, your name is Jet? Wow, Jet. That is a power name if I ever heard one. Correct, and I'm going to be your substitute today. So bear with me, please, as I do my best to fill Mrs. Morgan's shoes. <laughs> I don't think you could pull off three-inch heels. <laughs> huh, good one. Anyway, uh, today's assignment should be a quick one. We'll be discussing the Gettysburg Address. And since I'm only a sub, I'll do what all subs do and let a computer do all the work for me. So, without further ado, uh, let me see, where's the button here? How do you get this thing to play? I can't believe I'm suddenly that substitute teacher who can't figure out how to use a VCR. Excuse me, Jet. I believe it is a touch screen. Ah, yes, I see. Thank you, sir. Uh, wait. Are you an actual wizard? Well, I'm actually more of a sorcerer. And what, if I may ask, would be the difference, sir? Wizards aren't real. Okay, I'm gonna just touch the screen now. Class, I give you the Gettysburg Address. And here we go. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. L-O-L. I fail to see humor. Please explain. Four score is an antiquated term no longer used in today's vernacular. Eighty-seven years is the appropriate designation. Okay, that didn't exactly go as planned. Let's just take turns reading line by line. Uh, I'll start. Um, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Allow me to chime in here with the assist. Uh, now we are engaged. Um, and what is your name, sir? The name's Brad. Okay, well, it's not your turn, Brad. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure that's what we decided in rehearsal. What rehearsal? Exactly. Now we are engaged in a civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. Well, that's rude and a bit of an annoying sound in general. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that this nation might live. Did someone say resting place? Some of us men of a certain age find that term offensive. You young whippersnappers need to learn to respect your elders. Yes, 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 yes. That's all just so wonderful. Let's get on with this, shall we? And let's be honest, old man. Do you really want your final few hours to be spent reciting the Gettysburg Address? Anyway, where were we? But in a larger sense... A few hours? We cannot dedicate... We cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. If I may interject, consecrate and hallowed are essentially the same term, which makes this statement inherently redundant. Uh, Whatever. Bunch of amateurs. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, did you say consummate? Because <laughs> I would love to just consummate, uh, well, you know, uh, anything at all. Ooh, did someone say consummate? That's my specialty. Let's talk consummation, shall we? I'm bored with this whole Gettysburg thing. The world will little note, nor long remember, what we say here. False! We've remembered this for centuries, just saying. But it can never forget what they did here. Or, for that matter, what I've done here, which we won't talk about. Oh, God. Guys, it's taking five minutes to make a two-minute speech. Jeez, this is ridiculous. Anyway, it is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far nobly advanced. Whoa, dude, did you just actually use the word thus legitimately? Well, yes, I used it as it's legitimately used in the Gettysburg Address. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. Bam! Come on, bro. You gotta speak English, bad. Just say what you're trying to say, bad. Um, excuse me, uh, I'm sorry if you're unable to comprehend what I'm saying, but that sounds like a personal problem to me, Ban. Brad, just try to translate what you're saying with that weird accent, Brad. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, enlighten us. Well, it seems highly apropos that I step in here and clear all this up. What this distinguished gentleman is trying to say is... Uh, oh, distinguished gentleman, thank is you. Is that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, 
shall have a new birth of freedom. Bat, hurry up, I gotta go to the bathroom, Bat. Guys, we're starting to interfere with my happy hour time. And the government of the people. And the government the of people. the people, by the people, for the people. And the government of the people, by the people, for the, the people, shall not perish from the earth. I win. Raindrops keep falling over my head. Yeah. Oh, I just realized I'm four score and seven years old. <laughs> well, I am really tripping now. Hey, that was a good situation there with that whole Gettysburg thing. I like the way you guys all work. Uh, while we're here, I've got a great business opportunity. Anybody interested? Stay home, make money, don't do anything. It's magic. Okay, guys, that was really great. Great class. Um, uh, well done, is what I'm supposed to say. So, you know, have a great evening. Um, you know, enjoy your happy hours and your business opportunities and, you know, whatever else it is you guys do. But, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey. Ain't we got fun? The rent's unpaid, dear. We haven't a car. But anyway, dear, we'll stay as we are. Even if we owe the grocer, don't we have fun? Tax collectors getting closer, still we have fun. There's nothing sure. The rich get rich and the poor get poor. In the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? One could surmise this piece has a slight undertone of sarcasm. Well, I'm certainly no stranger to a good time. How about I take the next verse? You know what? I'll just pick it up at the bridge. Ooh, is that a bright light I see? There's nothing sure. The rich get rich and the poor get poor. In the meantime, in between time, and we got fun. Bad, come on. So much fun, Bob. Ting Strong. Productions.